I was going through the capability framework and it's a bit of a, you know, for a, a mid-size for profit or NFP in the IS provider, it's a, it's a good amount of time and effort to understand the framework a mm -hmm. bit more, you know, it's a bit of, you know, to start with, it's a bit larger framework. So what kind of a mindset do you want when, you know, they don't, they don't should not get fearful of that, how big that is, but what it creates or produces, what's the value uh, it'll bring when they could understand the broad asks from the commission and and, uh, and the broad expectations uh, expectations from a care worker mm -hmm. and at m and multiple levels. So I think the... You know, what we think is the value in, in using the framework and using the tools is on the one hand, it's building the capability of the workers that you've got. And part of that is also about supporting workers to stay in the sector. Mm -hmm. So that retention of workers because they feel supported, the worker themselves feels that they're getting good supervision. So we have some supervision resources that are coming out very shortly actually to support um, providers in how to um, do good supervision with workers and support workers to, to build their capability. Um, because it's trying to get that shared language between both participants and providers and workers, mm -hmm. that when you've got feedback on what's not working, you've actually got a shared understanding of what that means, mm -hmm. which again can assist with a participant um, wanting to stay with a service that's going to listen to them, but also as a provider that you you know what your workers might need to improve on. Okay. Um, and so some of the tools that we've got around our, um, again, the supervision resources, but also the career options guide. So looking at how can a worker be supported to stay in the sector, not just with a particular organisation, but also staying in the sector because on a broad perspective, we want to increase the number of workers that are doing a good job mm -hmm. that are in the sector as well, even if it's not just with one organisation because we also know that workers might work across right. a couple of organisations. So the Careers Option Guide is another one of those tools that we've got there to try and support that from a capability perspective. Mm -hmm. And then we have the Workforce Planning Tool, which a, a tool that's really quite useful for small and medium providers mm -hmm. when you're going, we're growing. We're growing as an organisation. Do we actually have the workforce? And what do we need to know about our workforce mm -hmm. to make sure that in two years' time, we're still going to be here, we're still going to have a good workforce, and we're going to have participants wanting to use our services? So the workforce planning tool is really about asking all of those questions and supporting a provider can use that tool to sit down and plan and know what's the data I need to collect. You know, do I need to know a little bit more about the um, background skills of my workers? And you can plug that information into the tool. You can look at what, you know, how long are, is a worker staying with us? Mm -hmm. And you can plug that into the tool. Um, you can look at, you know, what's the... Um, needs of participants that I have right now, mm -hmm. how many participants do I actually want to support in the future and what then might the numbers be of the workers that I need, but also the skills of the workers that I might need.